Hello and welcome back here to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit. We're here looking at my ESDA M4 in its 99% finished body. Now, the reason I say 99% is because knowing me, I'm probably going to end up changing something else. But this is basically done. The modeling is done. As you can see, we did switch to the V8. We have new carbon fiber door cards. And uh, we have a little bit of a... A little intake and supercharger poke in the front end of this car so definitely super excited we're gonna be taking a look at this car on this track driving it having a little fun and talking about what's to come here in the channel I've got some things that I'm gonna be doing that I'm super excited about so we're gonna get into all that details here in this episode but first we're gonna do some driving so make sure you guys follow me on all social media all the description box below why don't we get this uh, wheel cam turned on and go into full drive mode So we got the wheel cam and everything turned on. We are going to be running this course. And then we'll be taking a look at the third person view of the course and explaining about the new things I'm bringing to the channel here. Super excited at the bottom. So we're gonna go slow through here. And then we're gonna go on track and go full send. Fourth gear kick. Bring it out wide to all the outer zone. I did, oh, wrong gear. Or bogged the car out. Still getting a little bit used to this uh, motor, but I ran, did run a practice lap on this track just to kind of get a basic tune. As you can see, the new carbon fiber door carts, you know, of course, is ESDA, NRT Innovations. And my Evil Rabbit logo on there. Picking it out here. Super excited how this model came out, and super excited to be driving this car more. And like I said in the beginning, as I say, it's 99% done because knowing myself, I'm going to try and change something, or I'm going to find something different that needs to be altered. Like I noticed, my shift lights aren't correct. I need to alter that data file. There's a wall tap there. Probably should have adjusted the gear slightly. Kind of a long e-brake entry there, but we got it. So shaking it down, not much visual difference on the inside, other than that little carbon intake poking out the hood. And of course the door cards, but that's not very distracting at all. We'll leave the link for this track down in the description box below. It is all faucet if you guys want to rip this track yourself. Oh, that's a wall tap. I was trying to stretch it out to that wall. And we did! gonna finish this lap up and then we're gonna take a look at the overhead it does have a pretty cool overhead replay angle so we'll take a look at that and I will talk about what's to come here on the channel super excited about you know doing stuff that is not in the norm but still the normal as well check it out Cut it in. Cool. With that run in the books, let's go take a look at the actual replay camera. But of course, we're going to switch it up to the full game cam. Gotta find out to where I started driving. All right. So we're gonna have this just going on in the background. Well, I talk to you guys a little bit about what's coming up with the channel uh, along with the normal day-to-day -day drift content and all the tuning and everything and get ready for ESDA all these you know cars and gonna be doing some more builds and stuff like that I'm going to be starting to bring out other content other than drifting but I will still be doing the normal drifting content every morning afternoon upload has I been you know the normal upload about 9 30 or so a.m 
Eastern Time, you'll get your normal drifting content. But then there'll be some other content throughout the week that is going to be uploaded in the evening from first person shooters to new game releases to maybe some extra modeling and or drifting content as well as racing content. So do have uh, competizone, competition, ACC, however, you know, you'd like to pronounce it. So we're going to be doing some racing and stuff like that. So we're going to be posting up racing content, first person shooter content, as well as the continuous daily drift content every morning. But that you'll get bonus videos in the afternoon, evening for things such other than drifting, maybe also some bonus drifting content. Definitely like the view of this track up here. This would be great for having some tandems and just being able to just sit up here and watch. It's kind of a good uh, judging point too. If you ran a certain section on this, you could really have a very solid view for a competition on this track. Because you can see bo where both cars are really easily and you can see kind of exactly where the transition spots are. Like that's a pretty good view. And then of course you have you know all these zones on this track and at night all the zones light up so i may switch it to night and see if we can't drive it at night and get a little bit more of that night feel of the track but i want to talk to you guys about what's coming in the channel i'm super hyped about bringing other content and extending this gaming brand that i want to bring out so like i said first person shooter games halo you know some new games that are coming out call of duty everything like that as well as racing content on top of the standard daily drift content trying to expand this more to have bring in different types of audiences as well as give you guys a chance to see something different here on the channel other than just drifting so let's go check this out in nighttime if we can adjust my day settings with soul and see what we can find out with it so we're gonna switch back to the driving camera And we're going to go back to pits. And then we're going to get my... Oh, that is very dark. Uh, We'll go down a pretty decent... I can see the green lines already. So we're going to go down here. We do have my lights on. So now we're going to go full send in the dark. And see... Uh, what we can come up with on this track oh yeah definitely a lot more glow going on now this track is very well set up for nighttime driving and nighttime competitions which is actually really cool you may think about maybe doing some drift invitationals on this track because like I said, that overhead camera is really great for a judging aspect. Oh, I misjudged that. Oh, it's so different at night. Because of using my box cam, I can probably go into the track camera while I'm just watching players, which will be good. Change cars around and do some spectating from up there. I really like these light up uh, zones though. Oh, that was a bit of a grass hit. We're not doing the greatest here at night because I'm kind of losing focus. I'm noticing that we need to put some lights on the interior of this car. We need to do some interior lighting aspects so that we can light up the interior at night. It's probably something I'm going to go into doing. Maybe put some lights in here or just do some extension work. But this is actually super fun. off so let's go take a look at the replay of that and see what the replay looks like oh yeah it's super dark but super cool got the uh you know led vibes going on with this set up like i said this distracts a lot of fun and these zones make it really good to be able to see it and for nighttime it's super fun let's uh nope not that one let's adjust let's add a little bit more brightness to the day so 
you can really add some a little bit of a darkish to it but still be able to see the cars in full and see the zones in its full entirety so definitely uh liking the way this track is set up like i said it's a very good track to do some say competition things so make sure you guys follow me on all social media all that you found in the description box below if you guys like this if you guys want to see more let me know down in the comment section as well as i hope you guys are excited as much as i am to bring out other types of content as well as the daily drift content that will not go away i'm still gonna be doing the drift content every morning but we're gonna be getting bonus videos throughout the evenings throughout the week you know maybe one two three a week maybe some weekend uploads we're gonna be broadening this gaming brand and stuff like that that i want to bring so make sure you guys follow me on social media i would appreciate it if you tap the subscribe button if you're not a follower i would appreciate all the support and as always i thank you guys for coming back and watching i'm evil rabbit see you guys on the track